Hello friends, today I'm going to show you this Acara Roller Shade Driver Starter Kit. Welcome to this new video. So I'm using the Soma Smart Shades 3 on my main store in the kitchen for a couple of months right now and I really love it. I search for another solution, a little bit more affordable and I stumbled onto this Acara Starter Kit. It contains two shade drivers, one hub which is really needed to make it compatible with HomeKit and you even get a wireless remote switch with it. As I'm using it for four stores, I bought two additional shade drivers. So the starter kit comes at 160 euros and one shade driver comes at about 60 euros. So still to have my four shades automated, I had to pay almost 300 euros as always let's see the box first then do the unboxing and the installation and we will end with some automation ids so you can see that it is powered by battery the battery should hold up for two months and can be charged by usb-c maybe in the future i will wire it up to a solar panel as well as i have on my soma smart shades but we will see how that works out. It uses a Zigbee protocol. That's why you need the Acara Hub to connect to your home kit, of course. And just for information, it is a closed system, so you can only use it for Acara devices. So you can't connect other Zigbee protocol devices to the same hub. With this hub, you have the simple home kit connection. If you're using, I think it is the M3S, hub of Acara, you can even use the light sensor in order to adapt your shades and function of the light in the room. As it is a starter kit, it just doesn't really have its own dedicated box, as you can see, but it is more like a cardboard box with all the other devices inside. The promotional leaflet of Acara with all their devices. And then we have two other shape drivers that you can see here. The needed hub most simple hub in the Acara product line and here is the rocker switch you can use it for your shades but you can use it for any other device that you like as it is in home kit you can set up whatever automation or device that you would like to control with a rocker switch instead of Siri or only voice commands now let's remove everything from its box. You can see there's really not, not so much to it. And the hub only comes as a USB plug, so you need to find a USB power plug yourself but you can orient it in any way you like and we have the rocker switch that we will install later on and let's see the shade driver itself so that's quite some leaflet Pretty nice that they mark on the box what's inside it. Now here you can see the motor. I would say that it's almost the same size as my Soma, but I will show it later on. It's this way, of course. You will have to remove the, some clips of the cap yourself. Is the, the turning wheel? It's 
very nice that you have physical control buttons as well. And here you have the, the back plate. So you can choose to screw it on the wall or you can stick it on with the 3M tape that is included in the box as well. different wheels so we have to check which one of the wheels is the best for our shades we have the USB-C charging cable and the screws if you want to screw it and we have the 3M tape if you want to stick it on the wall for the installation itself I will show you the comparison between the Acara and the Soma Smart Chase 3 and you can see that the dimensions are almost the same the Soma doesn't has any physical visible buttons, but it has touch control. So if I slide, the store will go up and down, where here you really have physical control buttons. Now I'm going to install it on those four shades. I'm going to show one, but of course installation is exactly the same for the four. Now first let's connect the Nakara hub. So there it is set, now we can go to the Acara application. So we go to the Acara application that I already installed. You have to create an account if you don't have an account yet. Add an accessory. I accept that it searches for devices and I'm going to add this hub. The yellow light is blinking. Next step, this is my home indeed, I have to scan the code. So this in my living room, I can keep the name as it is. And it is connected. Always when you install new devices, check for the latest firmware and update as soon as possible. Now for the installation itself, first I'm going to remove this little chain holder and this way I can check which rotor is the best for the shade driver. Now we open the shade driver, so we can check if this rotor plate is good enough for my chain, and as you can see it is. So now I only have to check the correct height, make sure that the chain isn't twisted, and that there is a little bit of tension, and as soon as you have the right height, you can screw it on your windowsill or use the 3M tape to simply stick it on. Well, check well that the chain isn't twisted. And there you go. Now we only have to break away some of the protectors here so you can see that those break really well and now we can slide this on top and the setup is all done so that is really easy i use some small tape in the back just to hold it in place 
the time to fix it with screws this way you don't have to make any markings it won't slide away so really easy so now one down three to go and when they're all three set up i will connect them to homekit Now they are all four set up. You can see one over there, one over there, one over there, one over there. It's a really easy, a quick setup. Now I only have to connect them all to the home app. So the most easy way is to connect them through the Acara app. So I'll do so right now. Now let's add a device and an accessory. Curtain control, and there it is, the roller shade driver. This is the gateway, and now long press the button for more than five seconds until the blue light blinks. So you see them right here. And the button blinks. And now I have to give it a name. So I will give it another name. And we're done. Now we have to set the routing. So if I press the up button, the store goes up. And if I press the down button, it goes down. So this is consistent. Now I have to set it to the highest point. This is perfect. Now I have to set it to the lowest point. As you can see, I have some plants, so I will just stop it above. Now for the overview of my store 4, you can see it is closed, I can open it, close it, stop it, I can see the battery level and I can add scenarios as well and here below I can group the devices. So now let's do the other 3 stores as well and then I come back to you. Now all the blinds are configured into the Acara app, I have to set so the highest level, the lowest level and make up my dashboard. Now I'm going to, ch to charge all the devices because I saw that almost all the devices were between 36 and 41%. So I'll use my power bank and USB-C charging cable to charge them all. And when that's done, we're going to set everything up in HomeKit as well. You can see that the charging cables that they give with it are really long. I Yes, it will be two meters. So as I have two 
USB-A ports on my power bank, which is at 100%. It's a 20,000 ampere power bank. And I'll see how long it takes to charge two shades at the same time with only my power bank. As you can see, the charging light is on. Now I'll plug the other one in as well and I will come back to you as soon as they are at 100%. Yesterday I charged my four store drivers and it took about four and a half hours I think per device. Uh, but with one power bank I could charge all four of those, those stores. So now they're all fully charged. I open them manually. So now I can set these values as my default open. Now when we check in the home app, we can see that the new stores are available. And here I can see at which percentage they are opened. But you can also see that the name isn't correctly pass through home kit so therefore i have to go back to my akara app here you can see i have my stores with the correct name you can see the percentages again and for instance when i check this store and i check the settings i don't really have a place to set the correct name however i can set the type of shade these are zebra roller blinds. You can see the speed as well. It is set to high. But I have no other place to adjust the name for HomeKit right here. I show that in a minute. Where you can see the correct layout of the store. So that's quite nice. You can see that it adds something now I only have open, stop and close and when you change them device setting to zebra roller blinds you can see the new animation and you can also see rotate up or rotate down so let's test that in a minute you can see that you can really fine tune the position here way more precise than I could do without this option activated. Now when we go back in the application itself, you can see my accessories that I have. Automation, I could add an automation with if this then that. I can create scenes. And I can check my profile. And here in the profile, you can see that there is a HomeKit tab. And when I tap the HomeKit tab, you can see your HomeKit devices. Let's take care of name synchronization. So that will be great. And here you can even choose in which way you want to sync. So I want to sync the name of the Kara app to the HomeKit app. So it's syncing the name, confirm. Now let's check if that worked. And there you go, the names are all correctly right now. So I discovered that I had a new option here as well, system. And here I can choose home, away or night or off. And I can see here that it is from the Akara. Now, we can do the room sync as well. So I want the room sync from the home kit to Akara. And now I can see home and I can see that they are correctly synchronized. As you can see, my blinds are open in zebra style. So I will set this as a default for open 
in a scene. So that way I can open my four shades in the same time. Then I will create a scene with the stores closed. And then I also create a scene where the stores are completely open. So if I want to wash the windows, for instance, that I can open the, the shades completely. And sometimes I also like to open those shades halfway. So that will be the fourth scene that I will create. So for that, it is quite simple. As I told, I set this manually and now I only have to check the percentages and I will set those percentages in the application as defaults. So in the front for store one and two, that will be 3%, that is the best. And the stores that I have on the side, you see there's different percentages and although they are alike, but that's because the right one don't close all the way. So the percentage is different. So therefore that is quite easy. We go to home kit, we choose plus, new scene, you have to choose a name. You can choose an icon as well. Now I can add my stores, one, two, three, and four. So that's one. Now I'm going to close the stores. You can see the speed where it closes by the way. There you go. You can see that the store is still a little bit open, so I close it all the way now. Now I'm going to add scenes with different positions of my stores, but the principle remains the same. So you can see that I created a lot of different scenes with the shades only in front closed, in front big open, normally open, all my shades closed, on the side of the house open, or so the four shades open. I can also modify my good night scene. There it is. I can change my scene. Here I can add all my accessories. So this way my shades will close when I activate my good night scene. So for the automations, I simply go to the automations and here I can set what I want to have done in the morning. So here I have a schedule that opens everything up at a certain time of day, but I also have scenes that activate on sunrise. So I think it's a good idea to add the shades on sunrise. So you can see that my shades in the kitchen is just closing a little bit as soon as sun sets and my lights in the garden go on. So let's add this 
this scene and this way my shades will close if they aren't closed yet now do the same thing for the sunrise so 50 minutes before sun rises you can see that all my lights are turned off and I can and my shade is open opening here I can add my scene with the shades opening there you go and the last thing we have to do is to add this rocker switch to our setup I've decided to use one to control my lights so you can you can set it up with one click two click and long press so I can control my lights in the kitchen one click I'll switch on my nano leaf that is my hanging lamp double press and I'll switch on my nano leaf spots and long press will turn off all the lights in the kitchen and I can use this one to open or close my shades so press once to open my shades and long press to close my shades so first we go to the Acara app add a device and switch or plug so in order to know which one you have to choose you can look on the back side and it's the smart all switch rocker so remove the battery so I had to open it a little bit up because the little plastic stayed inside now I can put the cover back in place Now the light is flashing. I will place it in the kitchen. I will change the name. So of course you have two buttons, so left and right, there you go, right, okay, and now if you go to settings, device settings, here you can choose the high speed click mode, so only one click or the multifunction mode and there you go so once you set up the switch in the Acara app itself you can go to HomeKit there at first glance you won't see the switch but when you go to the room itself you'll see that it's in the bottom so here you can add your automation so I want to use the one press on the left button to 
open my all my my shades so there you go and long press to close all my shades And you can do the same thing for the right button. Now you can see that there are some rubber lines underneath, so you can just pose it somewhere and it holds up pretty well, but it also comes with a 3M sticker, so you also can attach it onto a wall if you would like to. Now both buttons are configured, so short press will activate my nano leaf and wrong press well shut the nano leaf and again for the stores so let me open up so long press we'll close the curtains and one press will open the curtains The only thing you have to keep in mind with this zebra blinds is even when you set a percentage when they are perfectly aligned when opened you always have a little bit of difference you can reset this manually but with automations it never opens up guaranteed aligned but that isn't that shocking and if you want you can always correct it manually like i did here and this is only an issue on zebra blinds, of course. So a very easy way to automate your house. Now, in order to show you the difference in speed, this is Ferme le store 3. Now that's the Akara solution. Now let's compare it to the Soma Smart J3 in order speed and sound. DC, ferme le store de la cuisine. So you can see that it is a little bit more noisy, but it is way quicker. So all by all, the Akara Roller Shade Driver is an affordable, very easy to install solution. Adding them to HomeKit is easy enough. It's especially with these zebra blinds, a little bit fiddling to find the exact position. But I think once you've found it, 
you're good to go. The speed is reasonable, not very fast, but as this automated, normally they are already opened or closed even before you think about it. And the sound is also reasonable, it isn't too loud and after all it's still our motors so it is normal that you can hear them a little bit. So yes, I would really advise this solution for 60 euros only a piece. This is very feasible to automate multiple stores in your house. So let me know in the comments what you think about this solution. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.